Fox News alert, a crucial meeting is about to get underway as the Pentagon, uh, at the Pentagon, as tensions rise between Israel and America over the Iranian nuclear threat. Welcome to America Live, everyone. I'm Megyn Kelly. At this very moment, Israeli Defense Minister Ehud Barak is arriving at the Pentagon for a high-level meeting with U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta. This comes just days after Ehud Barak warned that these nuclear talks going on about Iran do not exempt Iran from an attack by Israel. Israeli leaders fear that last weekend's talks with Iran are just a waste of time, giving Tehran more time to continue enriching uranium without limitation. And now the Israeli prime minister is using words like holocaust to discuss the potential threat here. Netanyahu even going so far as to accuse the Obama administration and others of giving Iran a, quote, freebie when they agreed to more talks late in May in, Mag in Baghdad. Naftali Bennett is the former chief of staff to Benjamin Netanyahu and a major in the Israeli Defense Force Reserves. Naftali, thank you very much for being back on the program. So uh, Ehud Barak is now at the Pentagon meeting with our defense secretary. Why? Well, I guess the main point, Megan, is that the talks in uh, Istanbul did absolutely nothing to stop the centrifuges in uh, Tehran. What's happening is Iran is using its famous delay in maneuver tactics to buy time, and it's now just bought another six weeks until May 23rd. They've tripled the pace of production of high-grade uranium. They're moving, rapidly moving their facilities underground so they won't be vulnerable to attacks. They're testing neutron generators. These guys are absolutely serious about acquiring a weapon, and the West at the same time is doing nothing except talking. So the bottom line is that uh, America and the West have to uh, show plausible, a, sh a plausible threat if we want to have any chance of stopping Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon. And yet, the, and yet there is obviously real controversy in the thought of Israel and or the United States bombing Iran over its nuclear program. And both sides that participated in these talks with Iran last weekend in Istanbul described the meeting as, quote, positive. So to those who would say, that's good, let's have mm -hmm. another meeting at the end of May, and, you know, pardon the phrase, give peace a chance, you say what? Well, it seems that the West is sort of like a tourist in a Persian bazaar, a very gullible one. I want to tell you what the Iranians or how the Iranians perceive the West. Let me read you just a, a quote from the main Iranian newspaper, Kenyan, and I quote, The U.S. keeps backing down from its red, red lines. If we plot the U.S. positions on a graph, it'll show an amazing downward plunge of the American administration, always setting large goals and then backing down and quietly adopting and replacing them with other humbler goals. So we set red lines and then two months later the red line is gone. The Iranians can smell or feel that the West is not serious about the sanctions. Words, as powerful as they might be, are just rhetoric. What we need is action. Paralyzing sanctions right now, not six weeks from, the, from now, but right now. Our president seems to suggest that we're already having an impact with our economic sanctions and that the Iranians know very well that the threat of more is real and, and would cripple them. In response to Netanyahu's suggestion that we've given them a freebie and giving them another five weeks before we sit down for round two of the, of the talks with Iran, this is what Barack Obama, our president, said this past weekend. Uh, and, and the notion that somehow we've given something away or a freebie um, would indicate that uh, uh, Iran has gotten something. In fact, they've got some of the toughest sanctions that they're going to be facing. Your thoughts on it, sir? Well, Megan, uh, it's not about what the words we say. It's about what Iran actually does. They're installing thousands of new centrifuges as we speak. So clearly they're not very impressed by the words in Washington. Now, uh, it's more than that. Lately there have been leaks coming uh, from the American administration uh, that are limiting Israel's uh, operational abilities, that are um, hinting that Israel may not have the capacity to attack. That is not what you want to do if you want to stop Iran. If you want to stop Iran, they have to feel that there's a plausible and immediate threat to Tehran's uh, very viability. We're nowhere near that right now. And if we want to prevent the need of an attack, 
then we need devastating sanctions right now in Iran. All of that could be uh, under discussion right now at the Pentagon as Ehud Barak and Leon Panetta meet. Naftali, thank you so much for being here with us.